This video explains how to use this EOQ model. Basically, EOQ model has this inventory profile. So we have inventory order quantity Q, and the slope is D, and there is time uh, interval T, and also there must be some constant lead time. For this lead time, we might have a reorder point, ROP stands for reorder point, and the inventory will uh, you know, product will be consumed like this way and there must be some, some constant rate and after lead time they order at this point and then they receive order and they have another another inventory queue and then they use at the end at the end of this cycle they have zero inventory and then they receive new order queue and they have this new order queue and the, they repeat this cycle. So actually we have inventory order quantity Q every time, but uh, we want to compute what is optimal order quantity. And based on this assumption, actually demand for a year is T, D, and uh, also there is constant demand, a constant lead time. Also we have inventory holding cost, but for this case, uh, inventory holding cost is kind of an opportunity cost. And we have a setup cost for this setup cost is also constant. And but this uh, uh, setup cost is without respect to inventory order quantity. It depends on number of you know orders. And then we have this kind of you know uh, total cost function. So uh, there are three cost factors. Annual purchase cost is always same constant. Annual demand times uh, the unit cost d times c is always same. And every inventory holding cost is every quantity, inventory quantity level is half, half of Q and times Q, uh, H, uh, annual holding cost. And an annual ordering cost is D over Q. D over Q is actually number of uh, orders and S is a setup cost. So then we have this kind of, you can order quantity. Q is a square root form square root of 2 times ds divided by h and uh, hopefully you uh, use this kind of you know quantity now uh, think about this first of all uh, for this problem we have demand we have demand 4000 and also we have uh, price uh, cost uh, $50 and uh, also we have a holding cost holding cost uh, 15, 15 dollar. Actually, there is a 30 percent of interest rate, 30 percent of inter inter rate of return. So then, uh, 15. Uh, this is actually 50 plus 30 percent. So which is 15 dollars. And setup cost, setup cost is 50 dollars. Then now, uh, think about EOQ. What is EOQ? EOQ is uh, square root form. Then before we continue, so now I want to add a name. So to add name, just highlight all this and then click formula, and you can uh, you can cr you can click create selection, and then these names are from left column. Click OK. Then what is EOQ number? EOQ number is actually square root of uh, 2 times D, what is D? Demand times D S. S what is S? S is a setup and divided by uh, H. What is H? H is a holding cost. Holding. So this is EOQ. EOQ quantity is 163.3. Uh, for this case, we want to compute uh, you know, total cost, uh, setup cost, and uh, um, uh, their um, annual holding cost, right? To do that, uh, so now I want to compute all, you know, cost, uh, all annual holding cost, annual set of cost for different quantity. So I will enumerate all these. So I will start 100 and then I will increase by 5 equal this number plus 5 so I will increase by 5 and then I have these numbers so I will generate more numbers like this 
So out of this, I will highlight all these and for all these number, uh, I can generate name as well. So click this create from selection. For this case, name is from top row. So it means quantity. Actually, this quantity has all these numbers. This is not single number, single value, right? And then based on this, um, now we want to compute uh, total holding cost, setup cost, and the holding cost. This is annual setup cost, the annual holding cost, and then we want to compute total cost. What is setup cost? Setup cost here. So if you look at the, this equation, setup cost, ordering cost, or setup cost is demand divided by order quantity, quantity times uh, setup, right? Uh, what is holding cost? Holding cost is quantity. Quantity is this column numbers out of this column number. Quantity divided by 2. So average quantity times holding cost, annual holding cost. And this is set up in the holding cost. And then now we compute uh, some of these numbers. And then I just highlight all these three and double click and then we add all these number and we have many decimal points. I will change this decimal point size. So now if you look at this number, set of course will decrease, right? If you increase your order quantity, that means you have less frequent I mean, uh, less frequent uh, setup, right? So that's why setup will decrease like this. How about holding cost? If you order more and more quantity, larger quantity, that means you have to manage more inventory. That means you pay, you need more space. That means you have to pay, uh, you know, expensive lease or expensive, uh, you know, security or insurance, right? So that's why when you increase your order quantity and the holding cost increase like this, and how about total cost? Total cost will be uh, decrease. At certain point, they will increase. Where is minimum number? So from he, from this, your minimum number is uh, this. Instead of, for this case, instead of uh, this number, I can say this is 170. Instead of 165, so what is your setup cost? Uh, what is your EOQ? So I will type this EOQ instead of this EOQ. I will refer this quantity. If I use this EOQ quantity, what happened? Setup cost and the holding cost is equal. They are equal. Setup cost is equal to holding cost. And so that's why we have for this, at this point, we have minimum uh, total cost, right? And also we can increase, we can add a chart for this one and then you can recognize pattern. So highlight this and insert and uh, line chart, line chart, right? So line chart looks like this and the right click also these are uh, X value, X value. So this is the first number, second number and so on. But instead of this number, I just uh, highlight, I just use here what is horizontal categorical X label. So these numbers is should be from this set, right? Should be 41. That we have this uh, x axis value and the y value and the i increase like this and uh, what do you think so actually our optimal eoq you can order quantity is around 163 around 100 right and the uh, setup cost will decrease like this blue line holding cost will increase this linear line and the total cost will 
be uh, decrease at this point they will have they will have a minimum cost and then they will increase this is a total cost this is a kind of order quantity model so please um, practice this idea also for any kind of you know quantity I mean you can replace certain number here I mean what is uh, setup cost what is the holding cost and then you can compute this number like uh, you can type any kind of number and then you can figure out the setup cost and your setup cost and your holding cost and total cost so this is equation simple equation demand divided by quantity times setup uh, what is holding cost uh, holding cost of quantity divided by two times holding quantity then you can compute setup cost holding cost and the total cost